The Wash Allen Show. Now, here's your host, Wash Allen. Hello there, everybody. This is Wash Allen. Tonight, we're with Sisters Network, celebrating 20 years. Got some great guests tonight on the show. So you know what? We ought to just go and see what's happening, okay? Come on, right now. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on the Wash Allen Show. And I'm in with a young lady here by the name of... RVFU. So, so where are you from? Well, we moved from Chicago six years ago to Houston. So that makes you a Houstonian. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, what do you do? I am fortunate enough to be a stay-at-home mom. Oh, really? I've got two children, but I'm also very busy in the community as well. I bet you are. So what are your thoughts about tonight? Oh, I'm so honored to be here, and I'm honored to be an honoree, and I had the fortunate of chairing this event last year. So I think it's really, really important. I'm a breast cancer survivor, uh, so what uh, Karen Jackson is doing in Houston and in all around the country is amazing for African Americans with breast cancer, because it's very much a huge problem. When I'm talking with one of the stars of Houston in the name of... Candy Eastman. You know, Candy, um, I've been told that here at uh, the Breast Cancer Affair tonight, the Sisters Network, you're very much familiar with this. So talk to me about it. Well, last year, I had a double mastectomy. And I am one year cancer-free, and I'm blessed to be in the house as one of the Pink Angel honorees. Tell everybody what radio station you're at. Magic 102.1, the Sisters Network is celebrating their 20th anniversary. The founder, Karen Jackson, is a 20-year cancer survivor. And I'm celebrating 20 years at Magic 102.1, so it's sweet. Hey, what is your name? Shantae Thompson. Shantae, I like that name. So are you from Houston, Texas? I am originally from East Texas, but I call Houston my home now. I bet. I'll bet when you go places and people say, where are you from? You probably say, Houston. No. <laughs> I do. I do say Houston, yes. So this is uh, Sisters Network, right? Yes. What are your thoughts about this anniversary? I think it's awesome. I actually uh, am a former employee of Sisters Network, and I think that Karen has done a good job um, in promoting and um, and and doing, she, she's done a good job promoting the organization and growing the organization. So this is awesome that they're able to celebrate this anniversary today and celebrate the survivorship of black women. And I'm talking with? Dr. Nicole Walters. Ms. Walters, what do you do? I am the Associate Dean at University of St. Thomas in the School of Education. Really? I am. Sounds big time to me. Uh, not big time. We're just trying to do what's right for students. So, but uh, Sisters Network, that's a, this is a pretty big, big affair, isn't it? It is. It's huge. I love to support it every year. Um, I have a family member who's a breast cancer survivor and my dear friend Chantel McWilliams. So I'm here to support. I have a most distinguished young lady here in the name of... Kim Roxy. Kim Roxy. Yes. And I tell you, you're doing things with that name. Oh my goodness, we're so excited because we're the sponsor here today. We're one of the sponsors for the Sisters Network Luncheon. The ladies are going to look fabulous on the runway. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. They're ladies and gentlemen, this is, a, this is a, a makeup artist, yes. a makeup person that could do marvelous things. Marvelous Am things, I right about yes. That? With Lameek Beauty, I can do marvelous things. Lameek, right? Yes, Lameek. I'm talking with a young lady here. What's your name? My name is Monica Jones. So, are you with the Sisters Network? I am. I'm a part of the staff. Yes, at Sisters Network. So, how are things going now? They're going awesome. They're moving fastly. We're enjoying ourselves. The ladies are all coming out, getting some education, getting a lot of informative information. We're here with the Pink Angels, trying to raise some additional funds so we can be able to better assist our breast cancer assistance program, so we can be able to fund those patients that need further assistance while they and treatment. I have with me a special gentleman in the name of Jay Shanak. 
Tell everybody exactly what you do. I'm a plastic surgeon who has a special interest in uh, breast cancer reconstruction. I uh, work at uh, many hospitals, uh, mainly at Westside Surgical Hospital, where we're trying to develop a breast center that provide a comprehensive care of uh, diagnostic, imaging, and also surgical oncology and reconstructive surgery. I have one of the honorees of tonight in the name of... Yolanda Green. You know, Yolanda, uh, we see you doing a lot of things, and here you are being honored at the Sisters Network. So you're just involved in everything, aren't you? I really feel like giving back is what my purpose is in life, and so I am thankful to even be associated with an organization like Sisters Network because they're doing great things. I'm talking with Mr. Sidney Williams. Tell me about something about yourself. Well, I'm the former ambassador to the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I'm from Field Ward, and I enjoy coming back home and to be here with uh, Al Green, uh, who's doing, I understand, a fantastic job in Washington, D.C., right. and it's good to be back home. I'm glad to have you back. Good. Anything else special you want to tell us? Anything that's happening? Come on, talk to me. No, that's about it. You that's know, about I'm it. I let my wife go to talk, and she's a congresswoman, so uh, I'm usually... Uh, tell everybody right now who your wife is. Well, Congresswoman Maxine Waters. What? <laughs> I'm talking with a very distinguished young lady in the name of Maxine Waters, a member of Congress. I'm here in Houston, Texas, and as you know, they were honoring my friend, Congressman Al Green, here today. Yes, he is my friend. And so he allowed me to come on stage with him and uh, say a few words to the sisters. This network is extremely important. You're dealing with women who are survivors. Yes. You're dealing women with women who've been through a lot because they've had breast cancer. Yes. Uh, you're dealing with women who have experienced chemotherapy and radiation, and they've survived. Yes. And that's so extremely important, not only to say to them, keep the faith, but to say to them that we as public policymakers are gonna do everything that we can to make sure they have access to health care, to make sure they have the kind of support in their families that is needed uh, in order to keep on having a decent quality of life. And I have the honorable, the one and only, Member of Congress from right here in Houston, Texas. Proud to be with you, Wash. Proud to be with you always. So um, tell me, what is, what's going on? I mean, I know you're here uh, at Sisters Network, and you and uh, Karen are so great of friends, uh, Karen Jackson, the founder, and all that. And I know you're here to support her and all that, but talk to me. Say something. Well, I am here to support her, but more importantly, I'm here to support all women because women need to have these examinations. And it's not enough to get a mammogram. There's an ultrasound that you need to get. And Miss Jackson, who is a 20-year survivor, but more importantly, she's also a 20-year thriver. This is an opportunity for us to do what we can to help others. And those others would be women who may or may not have breast cancer, but they won't know if they don't get proper testing, and they don't get proper testing because they don't get education. So she's an educator, but she's in the business of saving lives. Karen Jackson, God bless her. She's a wonderful lady. Congressman. Al Green, everybody. We'll be right back with more of the Wash Allen Show. Welcome back to the Wash Allen Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the one and only, the founder of the Sisters Network, the one and only Ms. Karen Jackson. I am so thrilled that we have such a wonderful turnout for our 20th anniversary. We're having our conference this weekend. There's so much going on. Our, this Pink Angel event is phenomenal. This is our second year. But I can tell you this, that Sisters Network is growing. We are impacting lives. We are saving lives. It's just a wonderful thing to be alive. Oh, you said it. You said it. Well, you know, things, I wanted to compliment you on tonight's affair. All of these wonderful people and some of the people who have expressed about their condition and what they've been through. Of course, you've done yours so many times about well, what you've been through. 
Well, each time we have new people join Sisters Network, I feel like I'm going through their situation with them, and we are coming out on the brighter side because Sisters Network believes in inside and out, be beautiful. You said it all. Thanks to me. I have Betty Eubanks. How are you doing? Wonderful. Well, I'm wonderful. Why don't you talk about tonight's affair and all of that? Tonight's affair was stupendous. In 20 years, every year has gotten better and better. better and better. Yes, yes. <laughs> when you think it can't get any better, it gets better. <laughs> Tell everybody a little bit about yourself right quick. I'm an artist. Uh, I'm also a motivational person in, in terms of speaking and facilitating. I run a Viewpoint Group, and I also exhibit my work yearly in a one-woman show. All right. That's what I need to know. Thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. Thank you. We always talk about Sisters Network. We talk about the founder, Miss Karen Jackson. Let's talk to the husband because there's got to be some inspiration from here in order for her to do all these things. The man in the name of... Kyle Scott Jackson. So, Kyle, what, what do you got to say about all this? This thing keeps well, like, growing and growing. One of the things that we did today that was a little bit different, uh, we had a man's session. Husbands, and we have uh, Karen's brother also. And we got some good commentary from the gentleman because it's the first time that, we, well, actually the second, but it was actually a time for men to emote what they felt when the uh, wife or sister or, or brother was diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. And it was a chance for d them to get out their emotions that maybe were suppressed, because there were some of mine that were for, for many years. And um, it was just a chance to get everything that you had held penned up for so many years out and to talk about it, because we don't talk enough. Men don't talk enough about it. I'm going to have two other special personalities here here at Sisters Network in the name of Sally Morin and Ellen Cavazos. Well, you know, you two ladies have been around and involved with Sisters Network for a long time. Say something. Uh, oh, it's an awesome, awesome organization. One, in support of women, women of um, all minorities and non-minorities, and they've just been doing great, outstanding work, especially in research of breast cancer, breast cancer awareness. Well, we're celebrating 20 years of their uh, involvement in this organization, and it's amazing, and it's growing in leaps and bounds. And to have uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and Congressman Al Green here and Maxine Waters, I mean, what more can you ask for? This is amazing, and it's just so exciting to be here. And our friend Judy, to have gotten that award, we're so proud of her. She is just an amazing woman, and we just love her dearly. Talking to two lovely ladies in the name of... B.J. Brown. And? Gail Mathis. What do you guys think about tonight? Oh, oh my God, it was just awesome. And just seeing my very, very close girlfriend, Judy Falson, to get this honor tonight, I'm telling you, I am just so thrilled and honored that she invited me to this affair. Uh, just seeing all the sisters out here, we all for the same cause, is just wonderful. All right, mm -hmm. what do you say? Well, you know, it's such a first-class event. Uh, uh, Sisters Network didn't shortchange him at all. It's really a beautiful, beautiful event. The fashion show was fabulous, and just having sisters uh, support each other is what's so important. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. I have two ladies here I'm talking with, and the name of... Debbie Dillard. I've been knowing you so long. <laughs> and we have... Benita Green Gambrill. So uh, what are you doing? Where are you from? I'm from Houston. Oh, you are? Yes, I've listened to you for a very long time. Very long time. That we could meet tonight. <laughs> yes, yes. Did you enjoy tonight? Yes, everything was absolutely gorgeous. The fashion show, the tables, and it's for an excellent cause. Excellent. And, so and Ms. it's Dillard, always a pleasure to be here with my friend, Wash Allen who always entertains and never fails. All right. Never fails to entertain. Right. <laughs> and I'll be with you again on next Friday. Okay. On your show. Good. I'll be I'd like for you to be on to my it. show. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of The Wash Allen Show. 
Welcome back to the Wash Allen Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the president of MJWJTalkRadio.com in the name of Dr. John Stanford, Jr. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. And being at such a wonderful event as this, honoring the survivors of breast cancer, and then just uh, looking at the honorees tonight, our own Judy Foster and all the rest of the honorees who helped support the cause of Sister Network and, and, and bringing the end of silence to breast cancer. It's Great special. thing tonight, wasn't it? It was, it was wonderful. It was outstanding. All right. Dr. John Stanford, Jr., everybody, from MJWJ Talk Radio. Mr. Prez, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. You know, Judy Foster was, of course, one of the honorees here for tonight. Let me say hello to her family and friends. This I have Omega Faustin. Okay. Rodney Faustin. Bria Faustin. Jenny Faustin. Sandra Norman. John Norman. Gussie Jefferson. So uh, these, this is the family. I, th I guess I'll let her sister say something for everybody, right? What do you got to say about tonight? Well, on the behalf of the Faustin family, Norman family, Judy Faustin is our sister. I'd like to say congratulations to Judy and the other Sisters Network honorees. Congratulations. Good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I have a family here, and this family is a part of our radio station, MJWJ, talkradio.com. I have the morning lady in the name of... Attorney Jacqueline Bostick. Yes, indeed. She's in the morning. What time are you in the morning? 8 o'clock a.m. Central Time. Make sure that's Central Time now, because you're all over the world, right? That is correct. So who are these other people? My sister, Ursula Bostick. Hey, Hello, name. Ursula Bostick. What do you do, Ursula? I am a social worker, counselor. Okay, and this is your mother, dear? Yes, it is. In the name of... Jacqueline Bostick. And she's just a leisure lady, because I know... I'm retired. <laughs> So how has it been so far since you've been on the air at MJWJ? How does it feel to be a big time personality? It is absolutely wonderful. I love being able to empower others yeah. and use that platform to do it. That's great. So your son and your daughters, all of, all of them are spectacular, aren't they? Yes, they are. I've been truly blessed. I didn't know about this one here. Oh, you didn't know about that one. <laughs> I, she's on our team, so I'm happy. Yes. yes, she is, and I'm very proud of her. You guys take it easy. Thank you. you. Thank, thank, thank you. you. I have two great personalities and interesting people in the name of... Brenda Lyons. And... J. Thomas Smith. And they are together. You guys... Husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're together. You didn't, you didn't tell me that, <laughs> Oh, well, you didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Of course, Jay Thomas is on MJW... No, I wish he was on MJWJ Talk Radio, but he's on Magic 102. Thanks for being yeah. man. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Well, I have a lovely lady here in the name of... Joylyn Venison. So, Ms. Venison, what do you do? I'm a salon owner. Talking to some lovely ladies here in the name of... Jasmine. And? Carmen. And? Charlotte. And? Bobby Labar. Right there. So are you relatives or just friends? We are relatives and friends. How close are you relatives? Very close. Very close. You got anything to say about tonight? Tonight, it was a great event. Um, it's just amazing and on what the organization has done and not just in Houston, but everywhere around um, the country, the United States, it's just a blessing to give back. And I think um, I just learned so many great things tonight, today, so great. Um, well, I, my mother is a survivor, so this is very near and dear to my heart. And this was a wonderful event, and I hope that they have many, many years of success to come. And I've got to say, this is the most fabulous thing that's happened in Houston in a long time. I have two people here that were in charge of this entire great sisters network and you guys have been working very hard. Let me intro them. In the name of Chantel McWilliams and Colleen Allen. Now Colleen of course is the offspring of, <laughs> of Ms. Karen Jackson 
and uh, she's been that way. What do you have to say right now? Well, we are just so excited, Wash, to have hosted the second annual Pink Angel Awards today. And my co-chair, Chantel McWilliams, we've had an amazing crowd, raised money for the Breast Cancer Assistance Program, and we are looking forward to hosting a third annual next year, next October. So was it too much work? Was it overwhelming for you to... I know when she told you to come, you didn't know all this was going to be happening, <laughs> I did. <you? laughs> It was a ton of fun. Yeah. Yes, being a survivor and, and working with the organization, it was a ton of fun. So which I means, had a great time. Which means a ton of work. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great. You did well. Thank you. We appreciate it. I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Wash yes. and Judy, for always being there for us. And of course, honoring Judy today was like icing on the cake for me because yes. because she's my mentor and, and a very dear friend, and she's so deserving. So hope to see more of you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be right back with the Wash Allen Show. Welcome back to the Wash Allen Show. Had a great time tonight on Sisters Network. 20 years, man. And Judy Foster, my executive producer. Judy, what do you have to say? Because you were one of the honorees tonight. Wash, I would just like to congratulate the founder of Sisters Network, Karen Jackson. Karen Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your board, your national board, and helping you to achieve the goals that you have set for Sisters Network organization. Thank you. And we'll see you next week, same time, same station. Until then, bye-bye. The Wash Allen Show has been brought to you by Frenchie's Chicken, Bayway Lincoln Volvo, and MJWJ Global Radio Network.